Hello everyone and welcome back to the perfect French with Dylan. We are finally starting on the nasal voyance and today we are going to see... Mm. This is a lesson 12 and if you have the book it's going to be page 31 and 32 and for the recording it's going to be number 18 to number 20. So let's start with the IPA. For this one it's going to be a C switch on the other side with the little thing on top. It's the best way I can explain it. So we have two ways to write on in French. We have on, which is the most common, and then we have om, om. The sound is exactly the same. It's basically om when it's before a b or a p. That's it, that's the only reason. With an exception, of course, that you all know, we are going to see it. So let's see the pronunciation of the sound, but first we are going to do the introduction to the nasal voyelle. So first, try to make the sound mm, while keeping your mouth closed. Mm, so that's quite easy. Then try to make the sound again while pitching your nose. So you have... It's impossible. Why? Because when you... Mm, that comes from the nose. So if you pinch your nose, it's not gonna work. Now try to make the same sound with your mouth open. Uh, uh. So you can feel the air going through your mouth and through your nose. Uh, uh. Uh, this is a pleasure to do that on camera. So a good way to find the same sound in English would be to have the sing, sing, song, song. Okay, so that's a good approach. Then we are going to see each sound specifically. But first, let's see the sound for this lesson, which is O-N. So, your tongue is going to stay at the bottom of your mouth. Then the air, I told you, goes through your mouth and through your nose. The lips are rounded. And then you just need to mm with your lips rounded and open. So you have mm. 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 Okay? Once again. Mm. 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 Let me know in the comment section if you can make it or not. So let's see some examples, should we? So if we look at O-N, we have no, no, une chanson, une Chanson, une maison, une maison, un bonbon, un bonbon, un don, un don, long, long, un rond, un rond, et then we have son. Son, mon, mon, and then ton, ton. So like I said, the sound on can have two different spelling. We just saw on, now we are going to see om. And we spell it om when it's before a b or p. And also in one word that we are going to see that doesn't follow the rule of the b and the p. So the first one, compter. Comté. So I don't pronounce the P. Comté. Second one, that one. Un nom. Un nom. So that's your name. So why do we have the M at the end on this one? It's very easy. I always tell you that you need to learn vocabulary by family of words. I even wrote a book about it. But nom, you can find, for example, nommé. Nommé. So do you see, when you see nomé, do you see why we write nom, N-O-M? As simple as that. All the words in French are connected. So if you learn one word, try to learn the whole family of words. Because really, it doesn't take much effort. Once you learn one, you can learn all of them. Next one. Un zombie. Un zombie. Un trombone. Un Trombone, un pompier, un 
pompier. Une tombe. Une tombe. Un nombre. Un nombre. That's it for this one. Don't forget to practice your listening skills as usual. I will see you tomorrow for another nasal voyelle. It's going to be en, A-N. So I will see you tomorrow. À demain.